Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be taking a look at red and green Nendoroids by Good Smile Company number six, one, two, and obviously not forgetting new as well. This is, um, yeah, a special one, like no other Pokemon Nendoroid so far has come with two. So the price for this one was a little bit more expensive, 7,500 yen, and it was released in July 2016 uh, in Pokemon Center's Pokemon Center Online, and I believe Good Smile Company Online had this one as well. It did not get a release in America, unfortunately. So what you see here is the one and only Japanese version, and I hate to say it, there are fakes around, there are nasty, nasty bootlegs, so be sure to get the real deal. Let's look at this box. Cute to look at, fun to play with, and great to collect Nendroids, absolutely. So, a few bits of artwork here. I can't read that, so I'm not going to try. More pictures, I love them, they are so cool. So who's the sculptor of this one, actually? Um, there we go, it says on top, there we go, so let's open this one up, again I've had this one in my collection for a long time and I've really wanted to just play this, so it's all good, comes, and there's the leaf flip, and I almost dropped everything on the floor, Okay, so if you see my other videos or any Nendoroid videos, you know what this is by now. They all come with them. Um, well, the, the pieces you get, how to connect the backpack, face plates, and the stand. Oh, an extra little picture there. They don't usually come with that. So that is that. Let's move this down and I will move my camera down just so slightly. Two bases this one because obviously we have two, two figures. They are, oh actually that one's a little bit different. That one would be the stand for Mew because we get a Mew in this one as well. So there's a lot of, um, and that might be Mew's little piece in there because it is thinner. But yep, yeah, there's two of those. Okay, wow, where to start? I think we'll start with Mew because Mew is great. Oh, it's so cute. Let's get the plastic off your head because the head on Mew is poseable. It can it can move around like I say like so. Let's let's get this off first because I can't really hate doing this, I don't want to damage it. I wouldn't damage it, but there we go. So Mew's head can twist and turn and the legs as well. And the tail, and the tail. And then you get the peg there to pop it on, pop it on the stand. That is, that is super cute. Oh, I just love the cookie, it's so cute. Okay, so let's start with green oh okay so let's take off your bit of plastic there there is another green on the way recently um announced so it'll be a fire red leaf green style green coming which is pretty cool can figure some fun things to do with the cross generations but anyway so first things first head very poseable up down Good neck, the arms, which come off, and I believe the, do the, hand, the hands do move. Don't know if they come off though. Um, there are clenchy fist hands, both of them, at the moment. Gotta keep in mind, these aren't action figures, so when you move them, they can get a little bit loose. Oh, there's a little bit of movement of the hip, like slightly turns. And the legs go up and down. So yeah, that's that. And to take the head off, you break his, oh gosh. Ah, you take his hair off and take that face off. And his other face 
is slightly slightly more creepy open mouth on this one and i'm messing this up there we go and popping your hair back on like so good stuff and we also have his necklace so let's just take his head off to put the necklace on just gently move it out Gotta have his necklace on. Ooh. Now he's a little bit stiff to um, fit back on. You just gotta be very firm with them. Oh, it's hard to press down because the hands are so spiky. <laughs> but uh, I've trapped, I've trapped the plastic now. You gotta be very careful. There we go. So now he's got his necklace on. That's right. It should have been like that in the first place. Good stuff. And you have, thankfully, the sellotape over it. So it doesn't all fly out. Let's keep that there. For green, we have a another arm with the pokeball holding hand because you have, we have two pokeballs with this. I'm gonna lose them, aren't I? We have the ball, ah, just the ball hook at the back, so not one on the bottom. Okay, so we have, now this is a bit of a weird one, because if you see on the front, he does have his arms folded. Now, this is what they will go like. So there's two extra arms. They go a bit like that. Or my, actually, it might be the other one. This is a bit weird. <laughs> actually, I think it's that one. Um, just to do the arm folding thing. Uh, a little fiddly, but yeah. Something, something like that when they go on. But I will take some pictures of that later. So let's swap your face again green because I think I prefer the other one why is that not going back in huh what that's weird okay not that on there oh now I've, I've got your necklace caught that's why they didn't have it on to begin with I think because you can quite easily get it caught and that's bad because it might break and on like that so that is green i didn't mean to throw you there green i'm so sorry that doesn't go all right just okay ignore me i am talking to myself well i hope i'm not talking to myself i hope there is someone watching this and this is red og red Oh wow, okay. So let's take your plastic off to let you breathe. I'm just gonna rip this. <laughs> Sometimes it is just easier. There we go. And a bit more plastic there. That's another re way you can tell you're not dealing with bootlegs if they're really well protected like that. So hey Red. Looking a little different. Okay, so neck movement, good stuff. Arm movement, um, and obviously they do fall off. These aren't action figures, they are posable. Um, you take your arm off. You can't take the wrist off because he is bare armed, uh, but there is some more pieces and you can move the legs. There, a bit, there is no movement to the hip and on the back there is your hook where you can put the uh, stand to change Red's face break the hat apart like so take oh wow this was a little bit there we go it's always scary when you see him like this and okay I didn't actually realise it could fully come off like that, but now I do. Um, 
and like that for an open faced calling for attack. In fact, you can see a bit more neck on this one. I don't know if I, I like that, uh, but I'm sure when, the po when he's posing, it won't matter too much. I like that, I like that. So also you have the backpack with little hole on it there. So that can go in the stand when it's on the stand. Obviously you've got, ah, uh, every time with these Pokeballs um, with a hole in the back and just a couple of arms for red, which come off at the sleeve. And that throwing arm hand. It's gonna be very easy for me to tell which one belonged to this red because these are unique, I think. And a pointy hand. Full pointy hand, not just hand. So that is good. That is very, very good. I am impressed, but obviously, I just wanted to show Mew off again. Look at it, it's so cute. Okay, so as I was putting Mew together to take a photo, unfortunately, this happened. Um, this was all fine, and then by I, you know, push that on, it's fine. And then I, I tried to move that and it just snapped. And yeah, it, it just completely snapped on me, which is like, oh great. So I tried to fix it with sellotape and then it happened at the bottom as well. So I, I yeah, I don't know if it was dodgy making it, I am, I'm a little upset. It, it's not, see that, that bit is fine in there. It's the ball joint, but I don't know. I, I, I really don't know what happened here. Um, Cause that comes out quite easily, but yeah, they, that, they, they just snapped. And it's like, well, hang on. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna carry on with the pictures, uh, but they're, they're gonna be uh, without the Mew, unfortunately. Overall, I really, really like the red and green Nendroid, although there is now a sour taste in my mouth because the Mew stand just flat out snapped on me and I don't really understand why because I was very, very gentle with it, but it is what it is and you got to be careful with these figures and um, yeah, like the thickness of the Mew one, it doesn't have to it Mew is very light plastic to hold up. I, I don't understand how this snapped, to be honest. It, it just fell apart. I don't know whether it's plastic rot, but I am a little bit um, disappointed that I've just realized I put these on the stands the wrong way and that, that's, that's gonna really annoy me. Um, but yeah, I think these are absolutely great figures. Definitely worth picking up if you are a old Pokemon fan like I am and yeah they are fantastic quality as you can expect from a good smile company just a shame about Mew's base Mew itself is fine but the base not so much but you you'd be lucky to find these now these are also out of print which means I'm gonna have a hard time trying to replace this base but uh, I'll figure something out for, for um for my display. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this Nendroid set and if you've picked it up yourself and uh, if you had the same Mew trouble that I did. And I will see you guys next time.